in Ghana, for instance, I feel very safe, right? People are not very wealthy, but there's a family structure there. Because there's a, an authority hierarchy, you know if you go and steal from someone and someone finds out your dad is going to whoop your ass. Like, he will beat you up <laughs> and you will be disciplined, right? The, the, the social fabric is such that you instill morals in people without having it come down to, oh, you know, it's because it's because that person is, is poor. Not the fact that they didn't come from a two-parent household with a solid authority structure that teaches them right from wrong. That is more valuable than investing in the police, frankly. And it's more valuable over such generations. Such a good point. Mm. See, I, we obviously have covered the issue of, you know, absent fathers and, and all of that quite a bit. But the, the way you put it there oh, uh, is actually makes a, a tremendous amount of sense, which is, you know, if you if you are able to guide society towards having more family stability, yeah. then the amount of money you then end up having to spend on the criminal justice system, the police, the the prisons, the the foster care, all of that, it just it tanks. Mm. 